we go. Here we go. <laughs> here we go. Y'all know why I'm here. Y'all, y'all know why I'm here. Broke nail and all. Um, did y'all not think I wasn't gonna say nothing about this? Y'all knew I was gonna say something about this, right? Cause clearly, if you know, you know. And if you didn't know, that means you not subscribe, you ain't like nothing, you ain't commenting, you ain't watch no video, you ain't share no video. So I'm a little bit disappointed. So while you here, just hit the subscribe button because we finna get into this bullshit. Um, disclaimer, I cuss, I cusses, I do all that. So if you don't like that, then eh, you might want to exit stage left. So I called my mama, right, for advice, and if I would have, I wish I would have recorded her response. Like, she went off. <laughs> like, when I asked for opinion, she was like, she insane. Like, that's it. Like, she's crazy. And anybody who agree with that shit is, is crazy and insane, and you need to get rid of them. Like, they don't need to be in your life. Like, she just went off. Like, I really wish I would have recorded it just for this video because y'all would have been dying. It's not a funny situation, but her response to it was hilarious. Because why? no, I am not a mother, okay? But I am a human. And I have a mother, okay? So I got so many different aspects of this because I also used to work in education. And baby, I... We gonna play the video from the from the news okay because this is the part that gets me the the footage i'm about to play is the part that disturbs me the most so let's let's play that that video a teacher charged with putting her covid positive child in the trunk of her car at a testing site is getting a whole lot of support tonight the allegations serious but many say there has to be more to this story Here's a look at some of the signs that have been posted outside this woman's home. Her community rallying behind her despite the accusations. Jason Miles live from where the incident apparently took place. Jason. Hey there, Reka. Yeah, this is the now closed COVID testing site at Pridgen Stadium here in the uh, Cyprus area where the teacher supposedly or allegedly put her son in the trunk during a uh, testing outing, something that, as you mentioned, is getting a lot of attention. I, attention. I even saw a story posted uh, in the United Kingdom about all of this. And while many believe this is outrageous or unacceptable behavior, certainly plenty of people are sticking behind the teacher. Teacher Sarah Beam's typical suburban home certainly stands out these days with messages like, we got you, Ms. Beam. I would not be where I am without you, and we stand with you always, covering much of the facade, put up mostly by those who've encountered the award-winning educator while she's been on the job at Cy Falls High School. My first thought was, quite frankly, this is what it has come to. Cy Fair American Federation of Teachers President Nikki Cowart does not know Beam personally and tells me Beam is not a union member, but Cowart believes COVID-related stress may have played a role in Beam's arrest. I do feel that, that the bigger story here is that t most teachers in Texas, most bus drivers, most food service workers, they do anything they can to not miss a single day of work. Beam is facing a felony charge of endangering a child after Cy Fair ISD police say she brought her 13-year-old son to this drive through COVID testing site last week for additional testing. According to court records, Beam told a district employee the boy was in the trunk because he previously tested positive and she did not want to be exposed to the virus. It is unclear how long the boy may have been in the trunk. They're very good parents. One of Beam's neighbors who declined to appear on camera believes officers at the testing site may have been overzealous. And instead of just saying, hey, you've done something wrong, don't do that, they've made a huge thing out of really nothing. A thing getting lots of attention and mixed opinions despite what many supporters believe. I've heard there's been an outpouring of love from her current and former students, so we wish her all the best as she uh, sorts through this mess. And one big issue for public safety officials, police officers, this child was uh, supposedly or allegedly unrestrained in this trunk, so if something were to happen, he could have been injured. I should mention that Ms. Beam is now on uh, administrative leave from SciFair ISD. She's due to appear in court on Thursday. We did uh, correspond via text today, but she is at this point unwilling to discuss this case. In the Cypress area, Jason Miles, KH. <laughs> You know what? 
y'all make me sick. People have different opinions about the situation, but, bruh, are we really debating this shit? Like, and, and again, I cuss. I get loud on occasion, so turn the volume down. Are we really okay with this shit? Like, I'm, let's be honest, people. Like, you put a fucking kid in the trunk? Your kid? You put your kid in the trunk because he tested positive for COVID and you didn't want to catch it. Let me tell you something. I got COVID. I call COVID from somebody that's a family member. I I wasn't all up on them. None of that. We probably nine times out of ten touch the same surfaces of some sort. Baby, do you not realize this variant is so powerful that you can damn near catch it from touching the same doorknob as somebody and not sanitizing? You Remember I told y'all in the last video, you can... You could do this and catch this variant. Like, everybody's at risk. And then on top of that, you work at a school. You're an essential worker at a school. At a school, from somebody who worked at a school during COVID, when it first came, it's a high-risk situation. It, I've seen cases while I was working there. It's a high-risk situation. When you work in a school environment, a hospital environment, anywhere where there's a bunch of people, sometimes you you can't separate kids. The whole social distancing thing is not effective in, in most cases. And now that the mask mandate is not mandated, it's not required, you got to fight with kids on putting masks on. Some want to wear masks, some don't. Lady, you are at risk regardless. Regardless. So... It, it don't matter because what's going to be fucked up and what probably is going to happen or have already happened is you either had COVID before or you going to get it. You going to catch it. It's, it's inevitable. Do I want anybody to catch COVID? No, I wouldn't wish this shit on my worst enemy. But at the end of the day, it's still a huge possibility that you are going to catch it. This new variant is not to be fucked with. Not only that, you are a mother. Now, I'm, again, I'm not a mother, but that's why I got my mama's insight on this. You know how many times I made my mama sick? Before I even knew I was positive, I was around my mom. Like, and I talked to her. It's, it's a risk you got to take as a parent. That baby is 13 years old. So now I'm wondering what exactly is going on in the household. Like, if you got one bathroom, like, is he not allowed to use the bathroom? Like, do he got to piss outside? Like, what is happening? Like, what is, what are you doing? I wouldn't want this lady teaching and one of my goddamn kids. She don't need to be around kids. I don't give a fuck how award-winning she is. That's some bullshit. That is some bullshit. I would not want this lady around my kids. She damn near locked one of my kids in the fucking locker. In some type of enclosed space. Lady, I understand people get these 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 justifications and these excuses like, oh, it's a high stress situation and I think they blew it out of proportion. So you mean to tell me the testing person, can you imagine being the test put yourself in the person in the shoes of the testing person? And you walk up thinking you finna give the test to the driver and she say, nah, pop the trunk. He in the back. He in the trunk. And you open the trunk, and it's a damn 13-year-old kid in the trunk. They had every right to call the cops. They should have. Like, I wouldn't even know how to react to no shit like that. Like, you got your son in the trunk? Baby, you better put on three, four masks, put him in the back seat, and be done. It's the back seat. He didn't need to go in the trunk. You don't put no, you don't put nobody in no trunk. But you damn sure don't put no kid in no trunk. And like they're saying, what if it would have been an accident? Because from somebody who just got into an accident, that my whole front end got taken off, and I had to get a new car? You can't predict an accident. I didn't predict that happening. So what would have happened had somebody rear-ended you? Do you know what would have happened to that baby? Now, the, again, I'm glad the child is safe. But if somebody would have rear-ended you and he would have been harmed in any way, as a mother, how would that have made you feel? 
And this community supports shit. She got a heart of gold. And we're rooting for you. We have your back. Baby, she got the complexion for the protection. It ain't no goddamn way y'all really think this shit is okay. If you do, we, we baby, you got a problem. <laughs> like, you got issue. We need to talk. Because you got an issue. Like, there's no way I'm putting my child in the trunk. I got to take that L. If we in the house again, the, he lives with you. So anybody that lives with you, there is a risk that you're going to catch it. You can try and quarantine. You can keep them in their room, whatever. But at the end of the day, especially with this variant, because it's so highly contagious, you in the same house. That's why I'm like, so is he pissing outside? Like, is he allowed to go to the bathroom? Like, I, I need protocol. I need to know what you're doing at the crib. Because clearly, you putting you putting him in the trunk. So what are you doing at home? What made you... What, what, where's your mind? I don't give a damn how stressed out you are. You do not put a kid, especially your kid, in the damn trunk. And me personally, at 13... I looked at my mama like, you got me fucked up. I ain't getting in no trunk. I ain't doing it. But again, in his position, he probably was like, you know what? My mama said get in the trunk. I don't want to risk getting her sick. Because kids do have a protective mentality. I know that from being one. She said get in the trunk. I don't want to make her sick. Like, this is dangerous. So, you know, I'm going to just go ahead and just, just do what she say. Nah, not me. Nah, pimp. Melissa, I'd be damned. My mama wouldn't even think about putting me in no trunk. <laughs> like, it's it's no way. Why why is this okay? Somebody, I don't understand. Maybe somebody else can explain it to me, explain it to me but you can't. Because I just watched the goddamn article. Ain't no explanation because the shit ain't okay. It ain't okay. It ain't going to be okay. She very well needs to go to jail for child endangerment. You put a child in danger, your child in danger. How many times the CPS come into a house and take and snatch all somebody's kids over a blunt, over a smoke smell, over little shit? You endangered that child's life when you put him in the trunk. Something far worse than COVID could have happened to him. It ain't that goddamn serious. It, it's not. You work at a school, my nigga. You, you think that you're not at high risk working at a school? He tested positive. You go get him retested to, to what, double check? Like, you, what? It's messing with people's mental. <laughs> like, it's messing with people's mental. Because you clearly got to be mentally unstable to think that shit was okay. What part of that makes sense? Oh, I'm going to just put him in the trunk and just drive him through so he can get tested. What? Why? What part of that made sense, sis? How can you even live with yourself doing some shit like that? It, it's not no, no misconception. It ain't no justification for the shit. It ain't no explanation for the shit. Nah, I'm not, take, I'm not taking it. I don't want to hear it. And if you get up in my comments def defending that shit... My nigga, you just as crazy as she is. As I always say, everybody entitled to their own opinion, but some shit you just don't do. And that's some shit you just don't do. You don't put no kid in no trunk, bruh. And Charlemagne, Charlemagne gave her donkey of the day. This fool, it's something wrong with Charlemagne. This fool talking about in Houston, the only thing you put in the trunk that end with K and S is kilos. Like, you, you don't put kids in the trunk. You, especially yours. Like, I can't trust you now. Like, I, I can't trust you around kids or around my kid. Like, you shouldn't even be allowed. Fuck administrative leave. Fire her. She don't need to be around nobody else's kids. Or kids, period, for that matter. Send her to jail. Period. Let her ass get locked up in a cage like he was locked in the trunk. Like, I don't want to hear what, it's a, it's a little air in there, you know, nothing. 
it, we don't know how long he was in the trunk. I didn't do extensive, extensive research because I didn't feel the need to. The shit was wrong. I don't care how much research I do. I don't agree with the shit. You don't put no kid in no trunk. You know what? COVID has, has impacted the world in so many different ways. Like, it, it's so many different ways. It, physically, mentally, emotionally. But that, I'm so, that ain't no excuse. Like, that, that, I can't, you can't justify that shit. You, you cannot justify that shit, bro. Like, you, you can't justify it. Like, that's all I got. It's fucking stupid. It's something wrong with you for you to think that shit was okay. When you have a kid, you take that risk. That is your child. They sick, you sick. I understand COVID is a dangerous thing. It ain't like a regular cold. But at the end of the day, my nigga, if I was a parent and my child had COVID, I know that I'm, go, I'm taking that risk. Because that's my child. I, I'm not, I got to take that L. It's a whole bunch of, a whole lot of families who are in the same house. And they have come to terms with the fact that if somebody in the house is positive for COVID, there is a chance that I, that I may get it. And the fact that you, on top of that, work in a high-risk environment, you should go to work every day prepared. When I worked at a school, when I worked at the school, I knew that how high I was at risk for COVID. It, it gave me anxiety. I'm not gonna lie, but it didn't stop me from doing my job. I went into that place every day knowing I'm in a high risk area for COVID. Being around all these kids, being around teachers, being around my fellow coworkers. If you, you got to accept that or you in the wrong business, you need to go ahead and find you another career. Since you're going to have to work from home if you're doing shit like that. You need to find you a job where you can work from home 24-7. If you putting kids in trunks and shit, no. Mm -mm. You can't make that shit make sense to me. It's fucked up. It, it's, no, it's no way it's not fucked up. I don't care how much stress, how much anxiety, how much you how scared you are it now we all scared we all scared because we are all at risk for getting COVID again I have COVID I'm gonna say had because I, I don't think I got COVID no more but we about to find out in a couple days it ain't it, you can't run from it only thing you can do is be very cautious and pray you don't get it Wear your mask, sanitize, wash your hands, all that. <laughs> my mama told me, my mama talking about she should have went to go get a, a COVID suit or something. Like you and Christian say she put she could have put three masks on, put some mask on him, and put him in the back seat. He's behind you in the back in the back seat, not the trunk, the back seat. It ain't that serious, my nigga. Soon as he get out, sanitize it, spray it. You know they make sanitizer and shit. That's a spray bottle, right? Spray cans and shit. I got some in the kitchen. Wipe, wipe that shit down. Lice all that motherfucker. I don't care what you gotta do. But uh, so are you not gonna put nothing in the trunk? Cause he didn't. He didn't breathe in the trunk. Cause you gonna have to spray the trunk. <laughs> like, come on, man. Is you serious right now? And is man, this some bullshit. I ain't man, man. Fuck. What the fuck is wrong with people? <laughs> like what the? And I, I'm not gonna even call it a race thing. I'm not. I want to. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all know I want to, but I'm not gonna even pull that card. Fuck race. That shit was stupid. That shit was dumb as hell. And I'd be saying the same thing had it been an African American. A Hispanic, an Asian, I don't care what, what it is. I'd have been saying the same shit, singing the same tune. Because the shit was stupid and it didn't make sense. It does it does not make sense. I can't agree with it. That's child endangerment and your ass deserve to go to jail. Period. That's it. Lock your ass up. 
that's my opinion on it. You can agree or disagree. I don't really give a fuck. It's not going to change my opinion. I still feel the way I feel. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. I don't agree with the whole community support thing. Am I surprised? No. I'm not surprised at all. But I don't care how much y'all support this lady. She needs to go to jail. And we'll see. We'll see. She, she's been charged, but we'll see what happens. I don't even need to, <laughs> I don't even need to say no more. <laughs> like, I, I don't need to say no more. But that was my reaction to that bullshit. I will see y'all in another video if I got on the same sweater than y'all know I've been sitting here recording. So, until next time, bye y'all.